everyone um, on this uh, Good Friday and um, I want to kick off by welcoming in the new members who have joined us recently. Um, we're absolutely thrilled to have you here. You are very welcome here and um, so I'm just going to do a very quick introduction to who I am and why and why you're listening to me really, because I know you've found me through my other social media um, groups, and uh, but don't necessarily know anything much about me. So, my name is Kat Holden, um, I'm an Anglo-Irish woman, I live uh, in, um, on the south coast, uh, um, lovingly labelled um, the Sunshine Coast, um, although I am in the UK, and sadly not in... Um, Sadly, not in Australia on the Sunshine Coast, but you know, hey, it's supposed to be the sunniest place to live in the UK, which is why I moved here. Um, I uh, I was diagnosed with cancer when I was forty one, and um, and I am now fifty four. And the reason why I started this particular group is because at diagnosis we're put onto a treadmill. Um, and we do what we're told, right? We, we, we hand over our bodies, we hand over our lives to complete strangers. We do what we're told, we show up when we're told. Uh, we we go with the, um, <clears throat> the plans, like the treatment plans and the recommendations, we do all of that. Um, and thank God we have experts who are able to guide us in that, right? Thank God. Um, and then, and then, you know, if we're one of the lucky ones, uh, we make it to the other side and then they just, they just disappear. And, and suddenly you go from one day where you are surrounded by, um, people to, uh, like professionals to, to nothing. And that was where I struggled the most when I was left on my own and trying to understand the big emotions that were overwhelming me, like the the fear, the anger, the resentment, the um, uh, the overwhelm, the um, the numbness, right? I remember distinctly everyone, you know, when I got my all clear and everyone is cheering, you know, the treatment's been successful, blah, 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 blah. Off you go and, and the joy that was emanating from loved ones and yet I felt nothing and I needed to understand because with that came so much guilt and fear that maybe I wanted to die because I'm not joyful that it's I'm not going to do you, you know I and I know some of you will, will will recognize yourself in that story and then the next greatest struggle is you're at your lowest ebb physically and emotionally and you don't know who you are anymore right that's another key point of, of um, coming back to life is, who are we this side of our cancer battle? Because you are not the same person you were going into it. This is the whole premise for this, um, for this support group. And um, it's action focused, it's highly respectful, and, and it's a safe space for you. Come, be yourself, share where you're at, ask any questions, and more, and, and importantly, I was going to say most importantly, but it's not most importantly, importantly, it's just as important as all the other things I've just mentioned, take action. And here is where I share those baby steps for you to take. Yes. Now we have a whole back catalogue of videos that you can be exploring. Please do so. I highly recommend it. Um, and um, yeah, today, uh, actually, if you want some guidance into which one is the first one to watch, we have three foundational stones and they are called um, morning pages, which is journaling. They are called play dates and they are called, uh, uh, and then gratitude. There are three foundational stones. Go check out, if you're looking at the list of all the videos and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, where do I start? Start there. And, um, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, then go on to um, understanding the four phases because that, that will um, bring a little insight into where you're at on your journey. So that's where I recommend you start. Today, ladies and gents, we are going to focus on how to quieten our 
inner bully in the middle of the night? How do we quash those fears that are potentially keeping us awake? Uh, and we've all been there, right? We've all tossed and turned and we've all laid awake at night because of tests coming up or fears about going back to work or you're starting to feel a bit off kilter again and um, and you 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 don't want to overreact but at the same time it, it it's troubling you there are a number a number maybe there's relationship issues that that have have come out of your time going through cancer there's going to be 101 things that are going to keep you awake at night let's not even get into the state of the world today the wars that are raging around the world the financial stuff that's going on let's not even go into there so i know for whatever reason you may be struggling to sleep at night so what i'm going to share with you is how you can gently go back to sleep how you can quash those fears and just relax again now when our inner critic pops up during the day we use eft we use kundalini breathing. I just saw my dog pop his head up over the counter. <laughs> He's kind of like, oh, are you still talking? <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, and then was like EFT, kundalini breathing, um, and many other, many other techniques that I've shared with you. It's all on different videos in our Fearless Friday um, sections. Um, but there are a number of ways that you can soothe yourself and you can quiet your inner your inner critic during the day when you're wide awake. So a really gentle way to help yourself when you're tossing and turning and you desperately need to go to sleep. So you certainly don't want to wake yourself up to a point where you are physically moving your body and tapping. Um, and so it's a it's a breathing exercise coupled with um a mantra or an affirmation whatever you want to call it but a thought process um and that is this is the one i go to but basically what you need to do is um when you breathe in you breathe in an inspiration like breathe in some inspiration um and when you breathe out you breathe out the challenge, the fear, the obstacle. When you breathe in, I don't know, so let's say you breathe in for a count of four, and you're breathing in inspiration. When you breathe out, you breathe out for longer, and you breathe out the, um, the fear. So I'm going to share with you, that would probably be useful if I share with you the, the my, my, um, my mantra at the moment. Now, I breathe in through my nose. I don't count anymore. I just breathe in. And when I breathe in, I breathe in love. That's what I say to myself. In my mind, it's like, I breathe in love, breathing in love, breathing out. And at the moment, I'm breathing out resentment. So I'm breathing in love. And I breathe out resentment. I breathe in love. And breathe out resentment. Now, you need to make it work for you. So your inspiration may be, I breathe in strength, or I breathe in courage, or I breathe in hope, or I breathe in love. Love is a good one. Love is an all-rounder, right? Love, love is an all-rounder. But whatever you feel is right for you, something inspirational, something something that will ground you to, you know, connect you to your heart, I suppose is a better way of saying that. So let's say breathe in strength and breathe out fear, maybe. Maybe I breathe in courage and I breathe out overwhelm. Whatever it is. What can you breathe in and breathe out? But that's where you focus. It's gentle. It's a way that we calm our nervous system. Any, 
Any exercise where we focus on our breathing is calming our nervous system. And that's what you're doing. That's the object of the exercise that will allow you to relax. It will allow you to drop the fear in the moment and it will soothe you back to sleep. Breathe in something inspirational. Breathe out the challenge, the obstacle, the fear, the overwhelming emotion, whatever it is. And that, my friends, will allow you to have a good night's sleep. And I literally have to, um, ah, I don't know how long I do it for, not long, not long. I'm sort of um, mindful maybe three or four times, then I'm asleep. It happens really quickly for me. But then I've been doing it for a long time, practice. So if you're still doing it 10 minutes later, don't judge it. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge anything. Just bring your focus back to your breath. In for, in, I don't know, count for four or five, out for a little bit longer. Out breath always a little bit longer. Yes? Helpful? I hope so. So, um, I am going to say goodbye. I wish you a very happy Easter. Um, unfortunately, my house is full of chocolate. Um, and um, I'm desperate for my family to arrive to eat all the chocolate and the hot cross buns so I don't eat all the chocolate and the hot cross buns. But I hope you're having a lovely time um, and uh, be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself. Come in here, ask any questions you like, you know where to find me. And um, don't underestimate the collective wisdom of this group. This is something I want to make really clear. Uh, yes, I run this group. Yes, I am qualified in many neuroscience modalities uh, and coaching and um, psychology. And I've walked... I've walked the same path as you. I, I I, know how it feels to be told you have cancer. I know how it feels um, to be alone. I know how that feels to be fearful and not want to show that fear with your family or with your loved ones because they're scared enough so you're protecting them. I, I know how it feels, as does every other person in this group. Please use that wisdom because everyone here will champion you. And as you slowly put yourself back together and you come back to life, you too will begin to champion those who come after you. It's an absolute pleasure to have you all here. This is my joy. I do, as you know, I, um, I am a, a coach by trade. Um, and this is uh, part of my work where I'm giving back and um, it brings me the greatest joy. So I am absolutely thrilled that you've found us and you're here and you are a very valued member of our group. Now go, go have a wonderful Easter. Gosh, I was about to say Christmas. Go have a wonderful Easter <laughs> and, um, and I will, um, I'll see you next week.